Yes, you saw that thumbnail correctly. I am selling this boat, and this boat, or this video, is sponsored by BetterBoat.com. Huge thank you to them for sponsoring the video. More on that in just a second. Yes, I'm selling the boat, and uh, I do have it listed here in western Wisconsin, Twin Cities area. So if you're interested, check out Craigslist or Facebook. Uh, I'll post links to both of them down below in the video description. If you're in the area and you're in the marketplace for a boat, you can check this one out. I'm, I'm going to leave it loaded. Garmin Force trolling motor, live scope, two Garmin 93 SVs, five battery system, three and a two bank charger. Like this thing is going to come loaded. So uh, if you're in the marketplace for a nice little bass boat that's fully loaded to catch some fish, click the link in the video description. So for those of you that are interested, let's just walk through the entire boat. All right, for starters, we got the Merc. 115 horse, two stroke. These uh, late 90s, early 2000, 2000 model Mercs are just, they're workhorses. Awesome. Hydraulic steering, highly recommend. If you are changing up steering, I see my video about putting in uh, a double rack and pinion system, or has gotten quite a few views. If you are looking to upgrade your steering, go with hydraulic. Seriously, it is, it's so easy to just turn, just one finger, one finger, just turn the engine storage units. Cool thing about these storage units, they actually come out. There's a live well right there. It's a, got a separator and I installed a brand new flow right live well system with the pump out. So that's pump in and then when you want to pump it out you pull it out like that. And I got a timer for it. This is the flow right timer system. Yeah, so you got your pump in, timer recirc, and you can turn it delayed or not. Super expensive system. I did clean it because this thing was filthy for my last trip to Tennessee, so it needed a good, uh, good spray down. So Better Boat actually sent me their hull cleaner, their soap gun, which is that mixer, and uh, and some of their soap erasers. That soap, they're the hull cleaner with that soap gun. If you guys have a white boat at all or any type of like white hull bottom. You get that stained, especially if you're fishing rivers. Like I, I was on the Tennessee River last month, and you get that like brown, yellowish stain all over the place. That hull cleaner stripped it all off. I do have another bottle of it, so before I sell this boat, I'm going to not only wash the whole thing, um, but I'm probably going to wax it to make it all nice and nice and shiny and pretty for whoever the the next owner is. But the Better Boat Spray, I always wanted one of those spray gun things because it's a great mixer not only for the hull cleaner, but if you ever wanted to spray something on boat carpet, which I think they do make, I'm pretty sure. Um, if they do, I'll link it in the video description. Huge thank you to BetterBoat.com for sponsoring the video. Check out their soap spray gun and their hull cleaner. Links will be in the video description for those products. Uh, they worked real well. I installed blue lights in the live well right there. So that's what I turned that switch into since I did install the big timer system. Bilge works. I must not have the plug in. Speaking of the plug, oh I don't. Well now I do. The, uh, this is drain plug, so that's, that's out, that's in. I definitely didn't have it in. Good thing the bilge does work. And this is your live well switches. Uh, this would be recirc auto empty kill switch. The only downside is none of the gauges on the dash actually work. That's kind of a, you know, it's a 25 year old boat. You don't really expect much. I did install some USB chargers. So if you need to charge your, your phone, camera batteries, whatever. Dual console system. Got to have your crappie nibbles in there, right? And then here on this rod locker, battery with the, it's in the case right there. And this is just where I keep tackle, bump board, extra paddle, spare prop. I will not be selling the spare prop. Won't be coming with it. But rod lockers are lockable and I installed those nice little switches for them. And then we got the main setup up front. So the Garmin Force trolling motor, this is a 50 inch, currently set up on a 24 volt system. That is going to be going with the boat. This is also going to be going with the boat. And see that live scope kit right there on the Garmin? On the force trolling motor that's going with the boat as well so you're going to have the force trolling motor 193 sv live scope bundle and then a second 93 sv at the dash you're going to be fully loaded this mount is not going with i got a small wave tamer mount so i'm taking that mount off and the big 10 inch screen and the second live scope 
does have deck lights installed. So you can actually see what you're doing at night. So that is the boat. Let me know if you are interested in buying it. I'm, I think I got it listed right now for 13 grand. I feel like it's a fair price. It's about 6,000 bucks in electronics. You know, 7,000 bucks for the boat motor trailer. The tires are brand new last year on the trailer. Uh, wheel bearings were, were just replaced last year and they were repacked again back in April before my Tennessee trip, which hopefully you enjoyed those videos. And uh, got a new spare, LED lights, whole rewiring on the trailer three years ago. So, I mean, this boat is just ready to go. It's ready to go. Since we can't fish the lakes for walleye today, we're on the river. We're gonna go search for some, show you on the side imaging what they look like. Hopefully we can find them at least and see if we can put a couple in the live well, fry them up tonight. There we go. Did not get the hook set on video, but, oh, it's a drum. Gosh, that's a big drum too. Dude, get off my blade bait. Really hoping you're a good old walleye. Come here, buddy. This is not, it's not what you want to catch on your blade bait. See you, bud. Well, fish number one. But it's not what we're gonna eat tonight. There's a fish, there we go. I knew there were fish below the boat. I think a funky hook them though. Jeepers, that's a big fish, whatever that is. Come on, buddy. I think a funker, funky hooked him. He's fighting funny. He's big, whatever he is. Oh my God, it's a huge drum. <laughs> that is a big drum. Holy smokes. That's a big drum. That's not what you want to catch. What are you hooked up? There he goes, popped off. That was a massive drum. Well, I'm not sure if we got that big wall on camera or not, but that was a, it was like a 20, I'm gonna guess 23, 24 range. Not gonna keep those. Those, and I think it might still have eggs, which is kind of late in the season, first week of May, but um, still looking for those 15 to, they gotta be 15 on the river, 15 inches and 15 to 19 are good eaters, so. There we go. Get it on the fall. Is a oh my goodness, it is a walleye, but it is not big enough. <laughs> well, there is our tiny little walleye. We're in this right species. We got out of the drum, we're in the walleye now. Well, unfortunately, I had a little issue with the GoPro record button, so I didn't actually catch that 24-inch walleye on camera, uh, but it was a pretty nice fish. Unfortunately, I was only going to keep anything between 15 to 20 inches. Those are the quality eating fish. Right here, I did catch another sheephead. Those are prevalent in this part of the river. I'm fishing a rock spine uh, this time of year. It's post-spawn mode for these walleye. So any of these sandbars or rock spines on the river, deeper water, 15 to 20 feet, and then just... Throwing down a blade bait, snap jigging, seemed to be a pretty good approach. That is gonna wrap it up for me tonight. Most of you probably recognize this right here. It's a community hole, everybody knows about it. But a uh, huge thank you to betterboat.com for sponsoring the video. I will leave a, a link to their website and all the products that I use. Some of you are probably wondering, did you just make a marketing video trying to sell your boat and then get that same video sponsored by cleaning company? Yeah, that's exactly what I did. And uh, hopefully one of you, clicks the link down below and buys the boat because I need to get this thing out of the garage. I got my new boat coming in like two weeks, so this one's got to go. Appreciate you all watching. Uh, it really wasn't a learning video. Just kind of fished a couple different sandbars and rock spines. And caught some big walleye. Caught a big walleye, caught a little walleye, caught a ton of sheephead. Stupid sheephead. But appreciate you watching as always. If you got any comments or questions, 
about where you can buy this boat or anything else, fishing sonar, electronics, trolling motor, whatever, post them in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.